Should the carnivore diet be considered a performance enhancing drug or an exogenous hormone or a type of steroid? Um, I don't know, I'm starting to wonder that maybe that might be the case. Um, recently I've had people accuse me and ask me on social media, so on uh, uh, TikTok, on Instagram, uh, if I'm taking testosterone, if I'm taking steroids, accusing me of taking steroids and testosterone when I've simply posted um, about how I've improved my, my health, my athletic performance, my, um, my body composition solely by changing how I eat. Um, what's interesting is that during my 20s and 30s and mid 40, up to my mid 40s, I had a pretty average subpar physique, not very impressive. I was never overweight or obese. I was kind of uh, skinny fat, um, and that was despite having worked out and lifted weights uh, religiously. So all since through my teens and 20s and 30s and early 40s, I would work out about four or five times a week, two hours per workout, including 20 minutes to a half an hour of cardio. And like I said, I had a pretty unimpressive physique. Um, I didn't really gain in strength. Uh, or my, also my, my physique or my body composition didn't improve. Um, people that would, would have seen me without a shirt on would think that I didn't work out uh, or maybe wouldn't believe me if I told them that I lift weights. Uh, so the only thing that I did starting 10 years ago uh, when I started cleaning up and improving my diet and then four years ago when I went full strict carnivore, um, that's the only real change that I made other than decreasing the amount that I work out, so the, both the frequency and the duration. So instead of working out four or five times a week, now I work out an average of three times a week, sometimes four. Um, and my workouts never last longer than, uh, than an hour, usually from 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, I don't do any cardio, I don't do any ab work, no crunches, um, and I basically do push-pull uh, compound movements like squats, deadlifts, pull-ups, uh, bench press, uh, things of that nature, shoulder press, um, and really the improvement that I've experienced. And I've experienced a pretty significant improvement in, uh, in my strength, um, my, my athletic ability, my endurance, my energy levels, and my body composition. Um, and so it's interesting, the people that I'm now at the point from just having changed my diet uh, to strict carnivore to eating only fatty red meat, which um, in my opinion is the optimal way of eating for humans. I eat nothing else other than fatty red meat, which is most of the time beef, sometimes lamb. Um, I don't take any supplements. I have zero deficiencies. Uh, my blood work is excellent. I feel great. I have tons of, of energy every day um, throughout the day. Uh, my stress levels are super low. Uh, I just feel amazing. I feel like I'm thriving. So uh, it's interesting that I work out less now and I, my strength is increasing and improving and my body composition is improving also. And interesting that this is happen, happening to me at uh, the ripe, um, you know, I guess relatively old age of 49. So I'm gonna be 50 years old in less than a year. And I feel better than, and a lot of carnivores say this, I feel better than I than I did when I was in my 20s, but I can honestly say that that's the case, uh, both physically, mentally, health-wise, energy levels, and of course, body composition. Um, so it's interesting that people um, find it so hard to believe that you can experience such an improvement in, uh, in your strength, uh, athletic ability, and body composition through diet alone, but that's the honest to God truth, that's all I've done is change my diet, narrow it down to only eating the, the one food or the, the, the couple of foods that are optimal for, a human, for the human physiology and human functioning, um, which is, as I mentioned, fatty red meat. Um, and everything takes care of itself, um, mentally, physically, and so forth. Your, your, your health optimizes, your athletic ability optimizes, your energy levels optimize, and your body composition optimizes. So really no, there's no secret. It's not too complicated. All you need to do is eat what's optimal for humans to eat. Eat what humans have been eating and thriving off of for millions of years, which is 
fatty red meat like beef, lamb, and bison.